Let's build a coffee delivery app in two minutes. Swell is a headless e-commerce backend that helps us manage our products and gives us APIs to handle our checkout flow. After creating an account, let's head to the product page and add all our coffee products. We'll add a name, picture, and description for each of our coffees. Next, let's generate a blank Next.js and Tailwind app with Create Next app and open it in VS Code. We're gonna get rid of TypeScript because JavaScript is hard enough already. We'll simplify our index.js file and do some general cleanup. We'll then connect Swell to our Next.js app by adding their two environment variables, installing their library, and adding a Swell.js file to init Swell. Let's make our homepage by creating a header component, then a footer component. We'll import them into index.js and fetch our products from Swell with get static props. We'll create a product card component that renders an image with some text, which we'll display on our homepage in a CSS grid. We'll give our header a background image, install a Tailwind plugin to handle images aspect ratio, and run our app to see the final result. Our homepage is now done. Let's create a dynamic route to handle individual product pages. We'll first add a link to our product card component so it links to an individual page. Then we'll go to our dynamic route and fetch the specific product from Swell using get static props, generate our paths with get static paths, and add some information about the product. We'll also add a checkout function that uses Swell's API to add an item to our cart and navigate to the checkout page that Swell gives us out of the box. The individual product pages are now done. Let's try it all out. We'll click on a coffee, hit the checkout button, enter our address and billing info, and click complete order. And it worked. Let's open up for sell, import our Git repo, add our environment variables, and deploy. In 40 seconds, we'll have a fully deployed application with a public URL that we can share. Let's add the new on-demand ISR to our site. We'll create an API endpoint called revalidate.js, then create a webhook in Swell to listen for product changes. When we update any of our products, the webhook will trigger the revalidate endpoint, which will regenerate the updated pages in our site right away without needing to rebuild. We can see that in action now, making it change to our latte macchiato reflects instantly on the site when we refresh.